Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering how Jalen Hurts is going to bring the Philadelphia Eagles back. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can do all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Coming off of a great season going into the Super Bowl, Jalen Hurts had one of the best season runs that we've seen regular and postseason. And then last year happened where it seemed like the, the wheels of the bus just fell off at the go start after the 10 wins everything else just fell straight down it just fell flat I don't know if it was a locker room issue communication issue coaching issue but I think that there's better energy in the building at this time after an off-season program where they've really improved on a lot of things they made different choices changes and also coaching moves Kellen Hunt's off I mean Kellen Moore's offense excuse me um it looks very balanced and it looks more balanced than we've ever seen. Not just balanced for Jalen's not running every play or it looks like a play, uh, play action handoff or play run pass run option. It looks more balanced as far as the pro style offense and it keeps him revitalized. When you think about the energy it takes for you to be a decoy on almost every play, when you think about the having to read and, and having to read linebackers or defensive linemen or corners every single play, that takes a lot out of you. And you think with Saquon Barkley, if he can stay healthy in Kellen Moore's offense, he becomes a threat. Uh, you know the wide receiver core is also a threat. They're, they're a threat to go 1,000 yards apiece plus. Um, and also the tight ends. Replacing Kelsey at the um, center position is going to be huge for them because they have had the same center for the last decade damn near. And you think that they have to make sure that everything offensively on that offensive line is where it needs to be because Jalen can't take big hits. He can't. It, it, you, your, your quarterback will not be successful on his back oftentimes. So with them having that mix of Saquon and adding in the passing frenzy and adding that they won't have to have, you know, the Jalen make every play and him make every play on first down or second down so they can actually win a game. That's going to be huge. The defense, as you know, improved through the draft and also through signing through free agents, bringing back key people and personnel. This is going to be a big year for the Eagles because Jalen did get paid. Um, the wide receivers got paid. So a lot of people are expecting big things from the Philadelphia Eagles. I think they are going to win the NFC East. I think that they have a foot up over Dallas because the talent that they brought back and put into the system is very much well so cohesive. And you got to think they're ahead of everybody in the NFC East right now. You will get some pushback from Washington. You will get some pushback from Dallas. And I think that the Giants are going to give you pushback as well. But I think Jalen Hurts is going to be a bounce back season and have an MVP style season for the Philadelphia Eagles. So I don't think it's going to be a struggle. I think that he's earned his money. He's earned his play and he's a pretty good quarterback. You just have to do it year in and year out. So what do you Philadelphia Eagles fans feel in the comment section? What do you NFL fans feel? Definitely tell me your uh, your views in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus and we'll see you on the next episode.